Justice for Jordan! An emotional evening at South Mountain as the mother of Jordan Castillo met with friends and family to remember the daughter she tragically lost. This has had probably been the hardest experience that a parent or anyone could feel. My daughter was loved by so many people and I wish that in life she could see how big her army was and she could have called anybody. Donning candles, balloons with messages, and posters. A vigil was held to honor Castillo as her loved ones gave a clear message to the gunman who took her away. We're not gonna stop shouting her name until we get justice because this monster needs to pay for what he did to my niece, to my sister's baby. According to Glendale Police, 22-year-old Ruben Xavier Arrocha, Castillo's ex-boyfriend, turned himself in after they say he jumped on top of her apartment balcony and tried to break down the door before firing his gun inside. Castillo, along with two others, were hit, with Castillo succumbing to her injuries. She was an amazing, amazing, amazing woman. So strong, so small, but so mighty. Wednesday's vigil was to not only remember Castillo, but bring awareness to the dangers of domestic violence. Police say Castillo had a protective order against Rocha after they were previously in a relationship. You think a piece of paper is going to help you and it's not. My daughter thought she was safe because she had a protection of order and it didn't save her. It didn't save her. Now we have information on where to get help if you or someone you know is in a domestic violence situation on our website, azfamily.com. Just look for this news story. Rocha is currently facing murder and aggravated assault charges.